The topic has been given is quite uh, a good one, a social media adequate. We have, we have so many things in our life, but we have forgotten the adequate. And precisely that's what I'm going to talk on. Balpalma jare machis na khokha ma dori bandhi ane phone phone ramta da. Tare kya khabar di ke ek diyos akha phone ma akhi chingi samet hai jase. When I was small kid, apple and blackberry were just fruits. Now they are not. In 60 seconds, that is one minute, this thing is happening in all around the world. About one point, I mean 167 emails are sent, 1500 new accounts are being loaded, 1500 new videos are loaded and the length of that video is about 50, 25 hours. So many things, new accounts are being opened, so many things are happening in just 60 seconds all around the world. And if you count that 60 seconds and multiply with those people who are involved in doing all this, the, imagine the amount of time they have spent on that internet or whatever media they have been using. It will come out to be hundreds of years, I'm telling you, and that's the fact. And not that it is not important, it is important, they are useful, but most of them are not useful. Look at the technology we have evolved. I uh, hope I can... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hope you can listen to the video. I'm, I'm not too sure. Can you, can you? Hello. I'll see you in the Bye. <laughs> That's the technology. He had a phone in his Advanced finger. Technology. Can you hear? Hello? Ah. Hello? Okay, bye. Advanced technology. My facts are right. This is what we are heading for. That is an advanced technology. What people are talking, I'm showing you something extraordinary. And that's the reason why Mr. Gurjar had to write this. Khud se jada sambal kar rakta hu mein mera mobile ko, kyunki rishte sab saare usi mein kaid hai. And we are bound to this particular small uh, gadget and we cannot do without it. And what does the psychiatry say about it? Psychiatrist. Uh, it's a too long a video, I'm not going to show it, but she's a child psychologist and she has a lot of things to say about the newer technology. So I'll cut short, I'm not doing it because limited time has been given to me. The first thing we check for is how much TV time or iPad time or mobile So, in short, what she says is, after all these newer technologies, we have become a bit impulsive, insecure, impatient, intolerant, irritable, irrational, image conscious, and probably insane also. And there is a definite reason why we have become like this, because fear of left out. If I don't send a good SMS to you, or a good WhatsApp message to you, that means Sunil is out of this WhatsApp group, because he cannot send anything new. So that keeping away, or fear of left out, is there in our, our, our uh, mind. And that's the reason we keep up uh, sending messages. They, whether they are good, they are bad, whether they are worth sending, they are not worth sending. We hardly think about it and just keep on sending them. And this is how our Wi-Fi parties are there now. <laughs> Everybody is attending the party, but nobody is talking to anybody. And my family visited my grandmother. The, look at the face of my grandmother. Everybody is busy with the mobile and nobody is talking to the grandmother. Why the hell you come to the grandmother? You don't even talk to her. <laughs> and technology has invaded our children also. So, okay, at the age of 10, you got 
laptop, you got iPod, you got Facebook, you got Blackberry. But remember dudes, when I was 10 years old, I just had only one thing to play and that was called outside. So our kids have become very smart. The mother comes and tells her, then the bright sunny morning, my dear son, go out and play. What are you doing in front of the TV? So he goes out and plays. <laughs> The technology has evolved. The mindset. We have become forgetful. Absolutely forgetful. This child says, if you come across my mother on her Facebook, please tell her, I have to complete my bath, I am still in the sink. <laughs> she has forgotten that she is in the sink. And similar case here. <laughs> we are distracted, absolutely distracted. And look at the sun. And look at that boy. He wants to drink, but the guy is drinking the water. So what will, imagine what will this, this boy learn. They just know how to copy. So they will copy you only. I will not complete the whole. <laughs> Sir, she's going to copy this only. And believe me, this is going to be our future nursery. This is how the nursery students will come. They will not come with a note and pen. They will come with a mobile. They do WhatsApp and whatever. And our street would look like this. Go slow, our children are taxing. <laughs> Okay? But then, our children, they do tit for tat. The father is busy talking to a friend on the phone. And the, there's another phone available, luckily. And the kid is also trying to play with the mobile. This guy is saying, stop doing, uh, stop touching my mobile. She doesn't listen and she gives it. <laughs> so this is what is going this is what we are teaching our children. And this is what I am talking about, the etiquette. And one day you will have to be a father like this. If you want your son to sit for a study, you will have to be like this. And he has been awarded the father of the year. The matter of fact is, there are more number of mobiles than toilets in our country. <laughs> so this is the best place to sit. And digital, we are thinking of a digital India, Swachh Bharat, and waiting for a bullet train. Achha din aayenge, of course. We are likely to get the bullet train, but infrastructure, what we need, is not there. By chance, if you go to a toilet without phone, you finish your work in five minutes. You go with toilet, 15 minutes. Toilet with Wi-Fi available, 55 minutes. And if the charger is available, <laughs> other day I went without the phone and I could realize I invented something that there are 112 <laughs> tiles in the bathroom. See, this is what the technology is all about. This is a long story, a long video, but I, I, you must see. I'm sure you will not laugh at this, but you, it is a very serious one. It will take a lot of time, but then it is worth it. See, everybody comes to the theater and watches a movie, and this guy connects his uh, instrument with the, all the mobiles that, that they are jammed, and the only thing what he will show. Now there is a movie which starts, and somebody is driving a car. Everybody is enjoying that drive because they are watching the movie.
is a learning process and this gentleman now sends a message to everyone sitting in the audience and they, they look at the and there is a crash so this is this much time it takes while you are driving if you take your mobile you are bound to bang with somebody so this is the message they want to give my all guy will not be yaar am kai na la yaar see be yaar then still he keeps on talking or keeps on selfie and ultimately the mother gets the bloody phone call that your son is no more so that is i am talking about what is uh, social media etiquette and then you sit home and sit and start thinking was that phone worth dying for you could have waited and you could have taken that phone later on and not while driving and the fact is the network will not follow anything further than this <laughs> there is a limitation to everything and you must know we are busy capturing the moments <laughs> not helping people he needs help he needs help but no we are capturing evidence based medicine so we want to give it whom do you want to give evidence tell me to help him he is dying yeah and another video for that you must see this video He, he, somebody is shouting. He comes out. Who is shouting? Then he realizes somebody is in trouble. Oh, he is going to die now. He is. He will fall. He will start taking a video. He will start taking a video. Yes. And this guy is saying, "Please help me, yeah." And then he is taking video. Now he says, "Nobody is going to help me. I must try myself." And somehow. somehow he could manage and he could reach now somebody else is also shouting this guy while taking a video has gone down and this people are taking a video now. and that's the etiquette and that's the etiquette we have learned what happens in classroom nobody wants to know why the teacher is going to scold her or something like that but everybody wants to take a photograph this is what we have reached believe me or not we have a sexual disturb sexual life because even in the bed you are with the mobile and i don't know whom you are chatting with and chatting with a stranger is a big big problem look at this handsome boy he's chatting with somebody he doesn't know what whom he He is chatting with. Dear, apni photo dikha na please. And the dear replies, "Abi nahi jaanu, mummy pass me hai." Look at that. See, you don't know whom you are chatting with. Similarly, a teenager girl chatting with somebody, and uh, the stranger asks, "Hey, pretty, could you give me your mail ID?" The girl says, "You're sure? I have a boyfriend, and I love him a lot. Get lost. dot com." and the the stranger replies and the mine is i am your father you are dead meet me just now dot com <laughs> so it has a limitation it has a lot of problems and somebody comes to know about your facebook account and the password this would be the condition and people have become insane this guy has bought another mobile to talk to himself the people are talking to him if people are talking on other phone and he doesn't have to time to talk to himself so he has bought another mobile to talk to himself i am sure dr malmal will appreciate this being a gynecologist that yeah the labors are very uh, painful you know and maybe this people will come out with a beautiful nursery rhyme and the baby will come out immediately <laughs> without the pain believe me if you are laughing but i i'm telling you you have forgotten your priorities look at this patient he is in icu he is on all gadgets still he is with his mobile and suddenly he realizes 
that he has a low battery. Only one person battery is remaining. So immediately gets up. He removes all the plugs because he wants to charge. He wants to charge his mobile. He is not aware of these important gadgets which he is on and because of that he is living and ultimately is top dead. So this is what is all about and this is a fact and this is not a joke. Yes, the Robert Murgabe, the president of Zimbabwe said once that in Africa the only warning they take seriously is low battery. <laughs> because they are not afraid of anything else. And the fact, matter of fact is, it has become absolutely indispensable. Somebody is talking to you, you are not interested in his talk, you are busy with your phone. Then he realizes that she is not interested in your talk at all. Hello, what are you doing? No, she doesn't realize. Then she will not stop now. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So we become absolutely indispensable. We take our mobile for our yoga classes. When you're taking our dinner, when you're doing your exercise also, even fun rides. You're not enjoying the rides for which you have gone. It's a fun ride. Still, your mobile is on. The WhatsApp is on. Swimming pool. Multitasking. And the yesterday, blind people used to bang with the tree because they were not aware of what is coming. Nowadays, people with mobile bang with the tree and the blind men can survive. So we have become so indispensable that mobile has become so indispensable. And it's a height of sophistication. <laughs> and height of selfie. Even if you are dying, you want to send the photograph. Yes, this is my last moment. You, see, you all see that moment. So coming to all this, what is the solution? Is there any solution? There are so many. There are so many. But the simple ones, I will tell you. One thing we have realized, that we are living in the era of smartphone, but a stupid people. Absolutely stupid people. When you have a problem, you face it. Don't Facebook it. Nobody is interested in your problem. Everybody is interested in your the pleasure which you are having. And nobody is interested in your problem. And our life has become so busy with this, this particular app that but you don't know that you are invading others' privacy many times. And that has to be taken care of because there is a space for expression, but there is no space for invasion. A best solution, when you all go out for a dinner, stack all the mobiles in one place and enjoy your dinner, keep talking, crack jokes. The moment who picks up the first phone pays the bill. As simple as that. And this is what we call it a table manners. <laughs> Keep mobile aside, enjoy your food, enjoy your dinner. You don't have to commit suicide now. You don't have to commit suicide at all. Just uninstall WhatsApp, deactivate Facebook, turn off your mobile and people will think you are a dead man. <laughs> And in America, they only charge $5 to break the mobile. Break the phone to break the eyes. What I mean by breaking eyes is talking to somebody who is right in front of you, but you are still busy with your mobile. <coughs> what is your last wish? 
The husband asking, what is your last way? Nothing more, just I want to check my Facebook status. <laughs> this is what the mindset has happened. And ultimately she dies. And what is the advice the father gives? Let us keep our mobile on a silent mode for two minutes. <laughs> but the matter of fact was, he or she had 1,250 Facebook friends, 600 Twitter followers, 743 WhatsApp friends, still outside when she was serious, outside the ICU, her husband or wife, children, his parents were there for whom he did not have any time because he was all the time busy with mobile. So my dear friends, move out of this imaginary world and spend some time with your family and that will really help you. Jindgi ma sukhi thon o ikajar stojay. A feki dahi ane a lehi lewaan. It is very cheap. It's very cheap. If you sell this off, you can buy hundreds of them. But unfortunately, only 8% of the people, this is the absolutely authentic figure, only 8% of them are using a landline nowadays. And what are you doing? This is a perfect suicidal selfie. I am glad that I grew up doing this, kite flying, and not this. <laughs> Children love to take selfie. Height of, height of, I would say, pathetism or whatever I would say, I don't know what is the word I should use. A Jain monk has to tell us, don't watch pornography. That is something which a Jain monk has to tell us, and that appears in the paper, that's a very pathetic thing. You should know your responsibility. Forget Jain monk. Nobel laureates also says, Vidyarthiye jo roj, thoda kallak maate smartphone baju ma mukhi deo pade, joye toj any career bane. This is Mr. Venkat Raman. Few days back when he was in Ahmedabad, he said this. And this is a fact. Listen to them at least, if not me. Respect your parents. They passed all the, all the exams without Google. So Google is not the king and is not the god. Sukhi lagna jivan no ek no uska mantra. Ek bijana mobile na adwan ud nahi. Otherwise this will be the scenario. If you want a piece in the house, don't touch. And the last thing, you go on Ufwas. A modern Ufwas is what? Without mobile? Without vehicle, without Facebook, without internet, PC and laptop. Try this to get the real peace of mind. And you can forget whatever I have said, but please download this app in your mobile. The putting your mobile away, paying attention to those who are talking to you, there's an app that is called as Respect. At least respect the person who is sitting in front of you. Namaste. Thank you.